What's going on everyone? It's me, Alex the Rambler, and today we're back on Hearts of Iron 4, but today I'm trying a mod called Iran Glory. This adds a focus tree and other bits and bobs to Iran, so what if Iran had a focus tree? That's what we're going to be playing today, so if you like the sound of that, comment, like, and subscribe, and let's just get right into it, shall we? Okay, so here we go. The only country you can play of in this mod is Iran. We currently suffer from 1933 concessions, which gives the AIOC exclusive rights to all oil extractions in the south of Iran. We've got food hoarding and a wheat crisis, and I've also got the clerics of the era were uh, against any change in the country's situation, especially westernization, which was a big problem for the country's progress. Okay. After the Great War and the Great Famine, Iran became a country full of problems, but Reza Shah has tried to solve all these problems and create good nature for the country since the day he came to power. He wishes to turn Iran into an industrial country with military Military power so that Iran's lands will never be easily evaded like in the Great War. Okay, so where do we start? Well, Iran. And we'll do we'll do historical AI and we'll just we'll just launch the game. So it looks like we start off with quite a number of divisions, but none of them have any equipment whatsoever. Yeah, we have look at that. None. Luckily, we do have lots of field marshals and generals, and some pretty good ones too. That's a four, four, three, three. I think I'll go for that one rather than. Do I want a desert fox or an expert delegator? No, I think I'll go for the expert delegator. Oh, fancy, smancy. So we start with only five factories, which um is pretty atrocious. So we'll just start trying to get another factory. And this is the tree. So that is a unique focus tree. You can either focus and collapse your own government, or you can do rise of king. To begin with, I have to do the dolate jam, which is a point advisor Mahmoud Jam, which has the following effects. Kablamo. We do need to worry about the, uh, the mullahs. Again, apologies if I'm mispronouncing that. So I need to try and appease them, otherwise they will try and assassinate me. And I don't really want to get assassinated. Shall we unpause and see what Iran's got? Oh, we've even got an air force of 118 planes. That's pretty tasty. And we've even got a navy too. We've got a few ships. It's more like a coastal low kind of lifeboats sort of thing but i won't complain about anything or should i should i complain okay we've got dolat jam now i will have to do the cash hijab we shall liberate our women by any means even it even if it angers so you have to do these ones so you have to try and modernize the country before you can go ahead and pick this route so you have to do these th do these three i'm going to also build new mosques and commemorate Mullah publicly. I shall not be assassinated. I shall live one military factory. It's going to be a while before we're doing any conquering, I think. Now we'll do the academy. Establish a national academy uh, aimed at promoting Iranian art and culture. Oh, getting a decent amount of political power every day because we we know we like getting PP. Now we'll do, we should extend a treaty to our Afghan brothers and finalize the boundaries of the Hermand, Hermand River. Ah, we've got a treaty signed of Afghanistan. How lovely. Now, what do I do next? Do I collapse the government or do I stick with a monarchist play for it? <laughs> I could try and even kill the king. No, I think we'll do the rise of king. Oh god, I've got a wheat crisis going on as well. Completely forgot about that, everyone. <laughs> okay, democracy support, I don't think so. Fascism support, I don't think so. Unaligned, maybe. But I think I want this British bulldog. Extra political power, extra division attack, acceptance of unaligned democracy. It's a democracy! Oh, what do we want to do? My allegiance is to the Rambler Republic, to democracy. Okay, I am your new king. Now I could try and modernize Iran a little bit, but I guess I'll do return of the... I'm sorry, I don't know how to pronounce that. Kwajars? Kijars? Kajars. Ah, thank you. Shall I meet with the religious... Scholars, there we go. There's an embargo. I'll, uh, sure, I'll embargo Italy. I'll get some. I'll get some freaking stability at Italy's expense. <laughs> I will now convince the opponents of Reza Shah. I'm sorry, Reza. Oh, the Samadat Pact. Uh, and I will enter this pact of friendship with Turkey and give myself another three civilian factories while I'm at it. I'll participate in the morning. I'll participate in the morning. Oh God, don't assassinate me just yet. I need more PP. Pee -pee. I wonder how I stop the pressure. I guess I'm going to take the actions to kill the king. I'm getting rid of the king. Uh, 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 uh. Good luck. 
Oh no. I feel like I've done something really wrong now. Death to the cabbage seller. What? Oh, I can change my name. What do I want to be now? I can be Iran, I can be Persia, or I can be the dynasty. Maybe I'll go for Persia. Seems chat is agreeing with me to call it Persia. Oh, let's do Persia. And now I'm also going to remove religious scholars from politics. They may start a civil war. <laughs> Oh dear, it's a 40% chance we'll get it. Did I just manage to do it? I do really enjoy it when um, people have made a focus tree centered around one nation and it works. It's just working right now. He's alive. Who's alive? He is. So we survived not having a civil war. Um, I'll keep on doing industrial focuses, but I probably do need resources. We can hold the coronation ceremony. Modify the hateful dynasty. Wait, what? Oh dear, I'm an unpopular monarch. I have zero stability. Oh dear. Oh dear, I did chose- I, I chose really poorly. Oh, I didn't know he was that unpopular. What have I done? In the words of Anakin Skywalker. I'm also about to enter the second stage of the wheat crisis. So, I am doing incredibly unpopular things in Iran. Wish I had looked into the history of Iran a little bit before I started doing all of this. Instead now I'm just being an absolute asshole. Don't worry, I'll change things around. I'm gonna try and solve the- Oh, I need more than 75 factories for that. Bloody hell. How am I ever going to defend myself if we're actually attacked by the UK or the Soviet Union here? Um, I'll have close relations with Germany. Sure. Let's do the past is not forgotten. And what will that do for us? Okay, which reduces my stability even more. Remove neutral government. Okay. How do I get f how, how do I get stability here? Or do I just not? Ah, we've got a classic from De Fugel. Normally the best way to get stability is to build good foundations. Yeah. So what is this? Claim the ownership of the separated Kajar lands. Okay. Looks like I'm going to try and get some a territory here. Can fake national oil? I'll remove rights to the resources. Yeah, and give them to the Germans instead. Okay, we'll do that. I wonder if I could, like, attack Iraq, but I need world tension higher. So I need a bit of time before I can do anything, but then I guess the UK will just guarantee everyone and stop me from having any fun. Okay, I can just say I don't recognise all of the treaties and then I'll become a little bit more popular. There has been no agreement on any of these. Oh, I need to control all of these. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, see if I can conquer Afghanistan, or is this just going to be a horrible, horrible place to be? So far, it just seems like a really well-made mod. Like, we don't have anything going too badly wrong. Oh, our aircraft don't have the range for Afghanistan. No, 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 no bother. Okay, let's have logistics wizard for our field marshal. Then we'll also have offensive doctrine. There we go. And for our general... He can be adaptable. Very nice. And then let's see if we can just go on in and defeat Afghanistan. Looks like territory is back on the menu, boys. Well, sort of. I have no supply. Where is the nearest supply hub in Afghanistan? Are there just not supply hubs here? What have I done? I'm beginning to think that I'm just going to try and encircle their army instead. There we go. Got to give it the good old rambler try. If I can't take Afghanistan, what sort of... What sort of general am I? Force attack. Surround more divisions. Good. Just got to take it slow and steady. We're approaching Kabul. Kabul, Kabul. Kabul, Kabul. Kabul, Kabul. Ka what else do you have? Is it just tiles now that I need to take? We have conquered Afghanistan. Fear me. Start of 1940. I don't know if I want to go after the Allies or not. I feel like I should just bide my time and see if I can attack the Soviets from the Caucasus. Have I done pretty much all of the focuses that I'm able to- Oh, do you know what? I'm going to go for the old golds. Yes, I want- I want gold. Gold! So I think what we'll do is join the war and see what we can do against the Soviets. Looks like they've completely lost Africa, the Axis. Oh. It, it, oh. I know I'm going to be on the losing side here, but what a defeat going down in glory it will be. Oh, I couldn't, I, I can't do the vast stockpile. Oh, I didn't know. I didn't know it was before 1938. Oh, I should have looked. I could have got the, oh, that would have been nice. Maybe the British won't bother invading. Oh, uh, I have an invasion risk. What happens if I, uh! No! <laughs> oh, how do I cancel the non-aggression pact? 1942. September 1942. Oh, Jesus. 
I can reload the save to the 1st of October, but I think it might be too late. <laughs> oh, what have I done? Okay, so, doing a bit of a restart. Let's see what can we can do in our second playthrough. The first one ended a bit how we, uh, well, we didn't want it to end that way. Just as we were getting a bit beefy, it all went wrong. Do I do Rise of King again or Collapse of Government? We'll keep him in this time. We'll do Rise of King again. Let's do the continuation of the Pahlavi rule this time. Continuation of the Pahlavi rule and then Long Live the Shah. I'm going to go for the early Civil War. We're going for it again. The Civil War of all Civil Wars. Oh, this is going to be horrible if I don't, if the RNG goes against me. Woo-wee. Okay, so we solve that. Ah! I don't care about the civil war. I want to do infrastructure projects in deprived areas. And of course I'll sign non-aggression with Turkey. Expand agricultural so they'll increase the second stage of the crisis by a year, I hope. Oh, whoa, 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 wee, whoa, wah. Iran looks like Cav country. Uh, I think there's might be cavalry in our divisions. Yeah, there's cavalry in all our divisions. So let's coordinate the cavalry with radios. That'll be good. That'll be fun for everyone. What I need to do first is this uh, Sanatogran, because I'm going this time. I'm going to go for the old golds, the treasure. There are rumours about a vast stockpile of ancient gold. <laughs> We've done the reformed economy. Now, let's do the old golds. Let's try and find the vast stockpile of ancient gold. Let's start drilling. I should have got an event saying treasure found. It said 95%. Hey! Oh. Is that it? I thought it was going to be more than that, but sure, I'll take it. So we're already in February 38. We're just kind of plowing through it this time. It would be nice if there was a few more events that would pop up, uh, but let's see. Oh, I will decorate uh, for Dalsy's two more. And uh, oh, I have to do it one by one, do I? I'm going to do all of them. German friends. Hey, oh, friend. Oh, woo. Expansion of the Sadabad Treaty. Yes, why not? Why not? Now we've got some downtime, I can, be, I can, I can, uh, I'm going to try and make a faction. Am I being dumb here, chat? What do you, do we reckon? Using my downtime to try and make a faction for myself? All of us, united establishment of the Middle East United Nations. There we go, so at least we might have some allies this time around. Why didn't I think of this before? This is so much better than what I was doing. Oh my gosh, we're actually... We actually did it. Middle East, United Nations. I'm going to demand lands. Oh, I can invite Saudi Arabia first. Maybe I'll do that. Yeah, let's invite other nations first. If you declare war on one of us, you declare war on us all. Demand Middle Eastern lands from Britain. Let's let's do it. I should have chosen the dark path. But you told me to do this path. You told me to... Oh my God. I don't think I can make you happy. I'm playing the mod which you told me about. <laughs> and both routes I've done now, you don't like. And the game just crashed, by the way. Let's see if they give in. Is it just going to RNG to that every time? Urgh. We're going to make demands for territory from everyone. I bet they're all going to refuse me. But I've actually got a war goal against the UK. Take the UK from the UK. <laughs> I didn't want that, though. I just wanted the Middle East. Ah, they accepted the demands. So Turkey groweth. Now I will make an international demand. And if they refuse, well, I guess I'll go to war with them. I feel weaker doing this path. I feel like I'm too weak. What a surprise. I'll invite Oman and Yemen, though. So I've got 18 troops, all fully equipped now. Nah, they're all fully equipped, in it. And now I'm just like, what do I do now? Free France has capitulated. I think now would have been the time to have made, made the demands of the UK, right? Should I just declare war on the UK? Oh, no, they've got troops stationed everywhere. I feel like going against the Allies is not the route I want to take. How on earth does Turkey have freaking medium tanks at this stage? And I don't. I don't even know what a tank is. Open up the Museum of Ancient Iran to the public. You're gosh darn right I'm going to do that. Let's increase our stability a bit more. I'll ban... Ban democracy, ban communism, institute press censorship. I've got all the PP, so I may as well, eh? Okay, so we're almost at the point where I can go against the Soviets. Will the Soviets be able to hold off the Axis 
and the Middle East United Nations all in one go. We'll find out together. Shall I attack the Soviets now? No, I should wait. Just wait. Just wait six months. You'll be more powerful. They'll be getting attacked by the Axis. Just wait a few months, Alex. Just wait a few months. Bide your time. Bide your time, sir. You're in a much stronger position now, and you actually have countries to help you. I mean, will they provide much help? Probably not. Will Turkey get screwed over? Probably. But what we've got to understand is that I don't care because I just want to have fun. Oh, Alex just wants to have fun. Let me have fun, please. And watch my video. It's August 41. Come on, do something. Or is it going to be a case of fine, I'll do it myself. The Greeks are, <laughs> the Greeks are holding at Thermopylae again. <laughs> oh, do I just do this war goal? I'm, I'm going to save and then just declare war on them. Screw you. That's it. Try and attack me. See if I care. Everyone wants to help. Aha! The Finnish continuation war. Lovely. That's what we needed. And I will call in my allies. And let's see if we can punch through. Hopefully we'll act as a decent distraction to them. And that's a big hope. Uh... Oh, my manpower. Holy... Stop all the attacks. Okay. That was a big oopsie. I would admit to making an oopsie there. Okay. Let's see how they're getting on. I think we should be distracting a good number of their divisions. Go on! Hoorah! I think I'm still too weak to do this, even with all of my allies. The Germans aren't making many more gains. What do we do now? Just have to keep hoping the Germans keep advancing? Or what are the casualties? Soviets are at 3 million. The fall of Sevastopol. Okay, that might help our flank a bit. I feel very stuck. And I'm also lacking infantry equipment. So I have supply across the whole front. They don't have any supply, so I'm presuming I should be able to attack. So we pounded our way through. I think we're at the limit of operational supply. I don't think anyone's gonna... Oh, I'm out of manpower again. Manpower is a real issue for me. In fact, everything is a real issue for me. Oh, the Germans are almost at Moscow. That's nice. However, looks like mainland Italy is being invaded, which is not bueno. Moscow has not fallen. I don't know that they will at this point in the game. I think this is going to be another round of fail. Maybe we can go for an attack on Stalingrad, maybe? Oh, this is just gross, isn't it? I legit don't think that the uh, Germans are going to do this. Oh, he says as they take Moscow. I'm going to go on Germany's flank. Oh, am I not going to get any supply? I'm completely leaving my flank up to Turkey. I am surprised that I'm not being able to push against one or two divisions. I still don't know how I'm going to take enough to capitulate the Soviets. Italy declared war on Turkey. Well, this might be over. Even when everything was going great, Italy is still the... Uh, the opponent that I hate. Oh well, I guess I'll kill these 14 Soviet divisions. Well, where can I go that would make a difference at this point in the game? Did someone say help Italy? It's a no from me, champ. How many divisions do the Soviets have left? They don't even have that many divisions left. Oh, the game crashed again. <laughs> I can get supply sorted out, then I may be able to drive up from the north. That's if I get a supply sorted out. And I think I've done pretty much all of the focuses you can do. All of the relevant ones, anyway. So I'll just do resistance suppression for now. Turkey wants to give me equipment, but Turkey's not doing so hot. And they've been pushed back from near Kazan. I don't think I'm going to do this, am I? So close to destroying the Soviet Union. This could have been so great. I don't know how to do this. I, I'm sorry, I really don't. If the Germans could just be doing anything right now. Oh, the Soviets are also at war with Japan. I don't get how the Soviets have managed to recover their strength. 10 million casualties and I can't even push. My agents are dying before I can get the intel network I need. Yep, they're getting insta-captured. Insta-captured. There's no... Uh, just do a collaboration government, it's easy, says everyone. Okay, Italy. Italy's taken Portsmouth as they're getting naval invaded. How's Japan doing? They're not doing so hot against the Soviets. Literally, they've been attacked on all sides, and uh, so the lines haven't moved in, like, years. I could try and push out again, see if this achieves anything, but I'll just get hemmed in, I think, after another couple of tiles. Yeah, my divisions just aren't worth anything. My agents are just going to get captured again, aren't they? Does Kurdistani, will that help? We're going for the Kurdistani. Let's just see how quickly they get captured. Try it in a remote area. Oh, there we go. They start to get captured. Yep, second one captured. Third one captured. I'll give this one more try, but if all my agents get captured again, I'm not going to bother. Let's see if the RNG is going to be on my side this time. And I don't think it comes down to luck at this point. I don't know. I don't know. 
Oh, and they're being captured again! Okay, we're at 34%. You! Okay, okay. Well, thank you for watching, everyone. I've played until 1947. This is what the mod does. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, I'm not going to finish the conquest of the Soviet Union because I, I, I can't. I am stuck. I am stuck at this point in the game, and despite them being only a few percent away from capitulation, I'm unable to do it. My apologies, everyone, but if you did enjoy this video, please do comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll be back with more very soon. Bye-bye! Many thanks to Duff Bowl, Jack Troku, Chancellor64, Haigu, Logan Whaley, Salty Badger, and Wyatt Green for being cult leaders and champions of the Patreon, and many thanks to all the other patrons, Twitch subscribers, and YouTube members too. Thank you!